had to let that play out a little bit. What's going on guys? Tony here from The Coalition and today I am going to be bringing you a gameplay video of Alien Isolation's DLC, Crew Expendable. This one is fun because it has the crew of the old uh, movie, Nostromo, um, and they got pretty much every voice actor to reprise the roles except for um, the android dude, Ash. They had to get Ian Holm. That's his name. Had to, <laughs> Bilbo Baggins. They had to get him uh, a replacement. He sounds pretty close to it. So yeah, I'm just gonna be running you through this. Um, this was actually done as you know, as a test basically. I wanted to test out my Elgato with the PS4, and it worked out pretty damn well. So here's a video for you and all that other jazz. I edited out the the intro and stuff, but. I left everything else pretty much the same, even some of the, I guess, quote-unquote, boring parts, because, you know, whatever. I want to keep it all intact. Whatever it was, it was big and... You sure took him into the air shaft? disappeared into one of the cooling ducts. My question is, it's used in the air ducts to move around. You know, the primary air shaft may work to our advantage. We can lead it through, down to the main airlock. Who gets to go into the vent? All right, there's Ellen Ripley, obviously. Mr. Parker. I don't know the rest of their names. Their full names. I know Parker. My man Yapikoto. And Dallas. Now for this one, I decided to play as Dallas. Because in the movie, I think he was the one that went into the air shaft. He died, though. In this one, he doesn't. Well, I guess it'll be me. I lead into the primary air shaft. We trap it on the lower deck. Then Ash opens the airlock. I'll lock down the maintenance hatches where Parker, Ripley, and Lambert are tracking it on the way. Okay, let's do it, people. <coughs> There's Lambert. So yeah, right here I'm just exploring the Nostromo a little bit. Ripley! Let me grab my shit. Now, one thing with the voices is, I noticed that the females sound almost exactly the same, yet the men sound really old. Like, <sighs> There's me checking my map. You're going to see me do a lot of that, by the way. I hate getting lost. And in a game like this, where you're just scared the entire time, it kind of diffuses the situation, too. So that's good for that. There's the map. Oh, you saw the... I didn't focus on it, but right there, you could actually see the, the acid stain on the floor from the alien when they try to remove it from homeboy's face. Yeah, there it is. You see it right there. The other reason I'm going around is because this game looks awesome. I, I love how it really captures that 1970s retro future look. Late 1970s, early 80s, I should say. The security system has shut a number of doors, so... You'll need to gather equipment en route. Yeah, but Mother isn't really helping the situation, unfortunately. Yeah, Bilbo doesn't sound the same. <laughs> He's a different actor. It wasn't that Ian Holm didn't want to do it. I think he was just busy. Because he, you know, he was like, yeah, you can use my likeness. That's cool. He probably just had things to do. He's a busy man, even though I don't know what he's doing right now. You know, this may sound really weird. But I wish there was a mode in the game where, you know, the alien wasn't trying to kill you, so you could just appreciate everything. Nostromo has landed on the surface of the planetoid the acoustical beacon is transmitting from. 
Dallas, Kane, and Lambert are making preparations to approach the beacon on foot. Surface structure is basalt with traces of rhyolite and probable lava overlays. Atmosphere, inert nitrogen, a little oxygen, and high levels of free CO2. Pressure reads at 10 to the fourth times per centimeter. Quite the storm raging out there. <laughs> I love how they're smoking in space. The security system has shut a number of doors, so you'll need to gather equipment en route. Yeah, you said Mother that. Mother isn't really helping the situation. You, you totally said that already, dude. Where'd Lambert go? Don't need to hear that music. Yeah, during this part, I was actually trying to look for Mother. I found her before, but I didn't this time. Mother is the computer of the game, basically. Or the computer of the, the Nostromo. No, oh, I'm back here again. I think I just say F it and just go. Straight forward, my man. Med Bay again. The security system has shut a number Dude, of really? doors, so... You need to gather equipment en route. Same bullshit. Mother isn't really helping the situation, unfortunately. Okay, Ash. See you on the other side. Here we go. Time to get scared. Admittedly, I've run through this a little bit quick because I already played this before. See how big that motion tracker is? Like in the main game, you can still build stuff. I didn't bother with it though. All I need is my trusty flamethrower. See, look at that one, it's all the way out there. With crazy ass alien around. I decided to hide a little bit. You hear the music, right? Flashlight in here. I could have used my flamethrower to light the way though, but eh. Boy. Yeah, you can definitely hear that thing just skulking around. Bastard. thing walks like a little kid. You know how like little kids they just stomp everywhere? That's how that thing walks.
I love how the green of the door, like, always shines on the alien like that. Keeping it moving. By the way, you sh you usually don't want to use the air vents in this game. But I was like, whatever, let's just go. Next room. Kids, you took your time. Shut up my side of the system. I'm a sitting duck here. Sit down. The woman's giving me lip. That one's a little bit further away. Take that up. Notice it usually doesn't come into these rooms with the where I have to press the button. That's the lamper probably. Oh no, it's on both sides. Go into the air vents again. Yeah, those particular air vents aren't very complicated, so I just kind of just... Whoa! Just run in here real quick. Yeah, that dude will just pop up, man. for a little bit. Well, in case you didn't know, I'm not actually playing this right now. I played this last night. I'm just talking over it. I'm watching it just like you. Okay. I saw that tail. And now I saw the alien. Look at the size of that thing. It's all big. That's Playboy. I think it knows I'm in here. Just can't determine where. He's smart, but he's still an animal. The interesting thing about the xenomorphs is they don't. I've never seen them eat people really. They always just kill and leave. Kind of makes them even more scary, actually. Or scarier, if I'm going to use correct grammar. I 
want to know where all that water is coming from and if it's actually like wasting resources or not. Oh man. That alien is probably really close to <laughs> considering the music. Yep, I was going to go the wrong way. Let's take the direct route. Yeah, this looks nice though. Alright, nothing to worry about. I don't like how my own steps scare the hell out of me. That was an air vent. This is the one I want to get to. Yeah, the air vents are worse because you make so much noise even if you're going slow. And this should be... Oh, there's Ripley. Just close the vent and move on. Right. Find the primary air shaft system and lead the creature down to the deck below. I can connect to the airlock system through my terminal. Let's go find Ash. Seems simple enough, but there's a crazy monster out there. It is super close. It's right there. It's on my ass. Yeah, you didn't go in there burnt, did you? See, that's what this game means about having an intelligent creature. It saw that flamethrower. It didn't want to get burned, so it just knocked me aside. Oh, shit, it's right behind me. I'm going to find my shit. Start crossing your fingers. We're in position. I I'm just trying to get a reading here. All right, I got a reading on you now. Hold on a second. I, I think I got it. Yes, it's in there with you. Where? Lambert, where is it? R right around there. You're going to have to be careful. Yeah, when I played this the first time, that thing killed me like 50 million times in that damn air shaft. So I was trying to be all slow. It kept killing me. I tried to just burn it. It kept killing me. So I kind of figured out where, you know, what direction it was going to come from. And I burned it then and then I hightail it out of there. And it seemed to work. It'll work now. And I'll just talk because, oh yeah, by the way, remember, it took me like oh, many, many, many tries to get it right. And look how long this loading is. I had to deal with this like all that time very annoying you figured hey it's current gen and we still have to deal with all these loading issues what is up with that i'm just vamping by the way because uh no one wants to just look at a blank screen with a little circly thingy spinning around there we go I'm going into the primary shaft. One more take. This time with feeling. By the way, I was seriously considering editing, like, all this out. Like, if I would have died We're 50 in times. I'm just trying to get a reading here. But thankfully, I did not. I should get it right this time. All right, I got a reading on you now. Hold on a second. I, I think I got... Yes. It's in there with you. What? R right around there. You're gonna have to be careful. This when I say fuck it. A little bit of a weird glitch there. Go left! Straight on!
Left. Right. You're, you're doing good. Just keep going. There we go. Right. That thing was right on top of me. I got lucky, man. All right, now I have to find Ian home. Fucking alien. Look how pretty this game is, man. I want to go back and watch the original movie now. There we go. Oh wait, he's not in here. I connected you into the airlock system. It's here. I'd find somewhere to hide. The outer airlock will take a while to open. Yep. I'm staying right under here. Screw that noise, man. See, this trick I'm trying to do now, it worked before when I played this originally, but you'll see here, it kind of doesn't, he doesn't really go into the room, he just goes to the stupid locker. noise when it leaves. At this point I was confused so I went and tried it again. Figured maybe closer into the thing would work. I think what kept getting me into trouble was the fact that I kept running. I was listening to the wrench. I was listening to my, my footsteps and they were right near this thing.
right now, where is he? He's not even coming down here. See, he's he's already getting wise to what's going on. Tried it again. By the way, I'm surprised this trick has worked as much as it has. Usually, it'll just, by the second attempt, it'll just rip the doors right open. This time I'm like, let me just go super deep inside, man. Alright, now the reason I left all this in here is to show you how the AI actually keeps adapting. Now he's not even going in there anymore. He knows something's up. My reason here is I'm going to try this flare. Maybe I'll do that and I'll make noise. But there we go. He adapted that. Wait, wait. Something's up. I'm coming in there now, man. Walk right by him. Strange happening here. it believe it or not very short dlc thank you guys for watching it was worth a try we're going to have to think of something new make sure to follow the coalition at coalition.com that's coalition with a k.com bring back life form priority one all other priorities rescinded you can't you still don't understand what you're dealing with, do you? Perfect organism. Its structural perfection is matched only by its hostility. I admire its purity. A survivor. Unclouded by conscience, remorse, or delusions of morality. Last word. I can't lie to you about your chances, but you have my sympathies. Yep, that's it. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Later.